Goods transported by road in the UK have to be secured to the vehicle or trailer they're carried on to protect the driver and other road users. Securing the load also reduces the risk of damage to the vehicle and the load. The load securing system must be able to secure the entire weight of the load forward and half the weight of the load to the rear. It must also be able to secure half the weight of the load to the sides. Load securing starts with using the structure of the vehicle or trailer. Loading up to a headboard or bulkhead if possible, or packing any gaps between the front of the load and the headboard with blocking or dunnage. The headboard should be strong enough to hold the load, and any damage should be repaired as soon as possible. Trailer bodies built to the reinforced XL standard or equivalent can be used to secure loads without using additional restraints. Trailer bodies can often be supplied with equipment to make load securing easier. Most loads are restrained using webbing or chain lashing. There are two main ways to lash a load. Direct lashing and frictional lashing. Direct lashing is normally used for plant equipment and similar heavy machinery. One end of the lashing is attached to the load and the other to a lashing point or the vehicle chassis. Lashings are used in opposing pairs to prevent the load moving. Frictional lashing can be used for many types of load. The lashing should pass over the load from one side of the vehicle or trailer to the other. The number of lashings needed will depend on the weight of the load, friction between the load and the load bed, rating of the lashing, angle of the lashing relative to the load bed, and how many tensioners are used. The angle of the lashing relative to the load bed is very important with frictional lashing. The lashing should be as close to vertical as possible. If the load is very low, think about placing a pallet or other packing on top to increase the angle of the strap relative to the load bed. The friction between the load and the load bed can be increased by using friction matting or high friction floors. Working at height should always be avoided if possible. Even a low fall can lead to serious injury or even death. Lashings aren't suitable for every type of load. Crushable loads may need to be transported in a stillage or box or secured using rated tarpaulins or nets that wrap around the load. Webbing straps can cut into packaging or bags when they're tensioned. Edge protectors or edge boarding can be used to protect the load. Loads that are likely to settle, such as aggregate and powder, can be difficult to secure. A webbing strap may be tight when the vehicle sets off, but quickly go slack as the load settles. Other methods of securing may be more suitable for this type of load. Stacked loads need to be loaded carefully so the stack doesn't become unstable. Drivers are often injured when unstable loads fall off or out of a trailer during unloading. A stacked load should be stable without lashings. Whatever load securing system you use, it's important to be able to show that it secures the load properly. A load plan or load docket tells everyone involved in loading, transport and unloading what they need to know about the load and how it's been secured so it can be transported safely.